Vitamin K was discovered in 1935 when it was found to prevent bleeding in certain animals. For decades thereafter, it was known as a coagulation vitamin. During this time, it was established that vitamin K worked by activating certain proteins in the liver that was required to form normal blood clotting. This property was later found to be the result of vitamin K's action on a protein building block called glutamic acid. Throughout the years, further research has discovered several other vital proteins, now referred to as GLA proteins or GLA proteins, in the body that is activated by vitamin K. For example, vitamin K is necessary for activating osteocalcin that is needed for calcium deposit in bones and also matrix GLA proteins or GLA proteins needed to prevent the deposit of calcium in our arteries. This is primarily the role of a particular vitamin K called vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 actually acts as a policeman that stimulates these GLA proteins in the bone so the calcium in your bloodstream is actually attracted and deposited into your bones while at the same time stimulates the matrix GLA proteins in the walls of your arteries so that the calcium is actually blocked from being deposited in your arteries, which helps prevent hardening the arteries. In fact, a clinical trial showed that those individuals with the highest levels of vitamin K2 were 57% less likely to die of a coronary heart disease when compared to those who had the lowest levels of vitamin K2 in their bloodstream. There has been a concern in the last couple of years in regards to the supplementation of calcium actually doubling your risk of having a heart attack. They have documented that as we age that a significant amount of this calcium is being deposited in your arteries instead of your bones. Researchers now believe that this finding is a result of supplementing calcium alone or not in a healthy balance with vitamin D and magnesium and without the addition of adequate vitamin K2. In fact, studies have shown that those older men and women with the lowest levels of inactive matrix GLA protein, which is an indication of low vitamin K levels, had a three-fold increased cardiovascular risk compared to those who had the lowest levels. Calcium supplementation is critical for healthy bones. However, you must realize that osteoporosis, or thinning of the bone, is more than just supplementing calcium. It is critical that when you consider supplementing your diet with calcium, that your calcium supplement contains the most absorbable forms of calcium, which are calcium citrate and malate, and not calcium carbonate. This calcium must also be in balance with high quality magnesium and adequate vitamin D. You must realize that if you don't have adequate vitamin D, you're not able to absorb any calcium from your GI tract. However, the key when consuming calcium supplements is the fact that your supplement must also contain vitamin K2 so that the calcium you do absorb actually gets deposited into the bones where it is needed and not into your arteries where it can actually increase your risk of having a heart attack.